this is the only time when I went to the hospital, uh, to the emergency room, where I thought I was seriously was going to die. A Winnipeg woman is sharing a nightmare experience in the emergency room after waiting 12 long hours to receive treatment for COVID-19. Vivian Ketchum contracted COVID-19 and had a hard time breathing. She decided to go to the emergency room at Health Sciences Center. I felt a heaviness in my chest and I couldn't... Um, even that said, like I'm struggling to breathe right now, but that was even worse when I couldn't catch a full breath. I would go, and I couldn't catch a full breath, and I felt like I can't, I can't breathe. Ketchum arrived at the hospital and was directed to sit in a curtained area where she waited with other possible COVID positive patients. She says multiple people were heavily coughing in the waiting area, including a man sitting to her left who was profusely coughing up phlegm. She says people weren't wearing their masks properly and she felt unsafe. To add to all of this, ambulances were continuously bringing in more patients despite a lack of staff. To sit there for close to 12 hours, no water, no food, you're dehydrated, you're in a lot of pain, you're fighting to breathe, you're, <clears throat> you're panicky, and you're trying, you're, and even though you're, you're, you're trying, you're trying, you're hoping you're not going to get any sicker by the other people around you. Ketchum says she was extremely dehydrated and sweating. After hours of no help, she was eventually put on an IV to get the fluids back into her, but she says she was very close to just giving up. I was tired, I was in pain, I couldn't breathe, I was fighting to breathe. I figured nobody cares, I might as well just go home and die at home. In a statement, Shared Health acknowledges patients with less urgent needs are waiting longer. Quote, we can appreciate the frustration of those who are required to wait for care. HSC Winnipeg and other emergency departments continue to work to alleviate patient flow issues, many of which are pandemic related. Ketchum says she hopes no one has to go through the same situation she went through. She says she understands critical patients need to be treated first, but urges there needs to be a better system in place. There should be us, the COVID, pa uh, COVID patients that come in, um, they should be seen next on the next tier so they can get assessed, checked and treated and out of there. In Winnipeg, Alex Garba, City News.